Are you gonna be okay? Do you think anyone is going to comment on your shirt today? Because I don't think anyone's gonna comment on that wild shirt. No, I don't think so. Okay, Bracken. So, I just had like a life and death situation, I feel like, in one of my videos. So I'm gonna back that up with the hottest hot sauce that Blair's makes, apparently. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's how you do it. You see the LA Apparently. Right so, um, normally I wouldn't be that afraid of, of something like this, but now I'm just afraid of spicy food in general. So everything is just kind of, it's kind of scary at the moment, because, um, I had that Carolina Reaper chip last week, and no. my God, was I messed up. I wouldn't do that. After that, that was hot wing we insane. had. insane. Okay, anyways. So today we're going to be we're going to be tasting, we're going to be trying, we're going to be experiencing Blair's Ultra Death Sauce with Jersey Fire. So if you look at the side of it, um, it's the hottest it's the hottest sauce that they make. Uh, there's they have an extract that's above it, but this is uh, it's still a hot sauce, I believe, because it's a, I don't think it says anywhere on here like this is not a food. Don't <laughs> eat it, which I have seen many a time. Food so, but it does say, uh, suggested uses, uh, be warned, this sauce contains ingredients 900 times hotter than a jalapeno chili. Use sparingly, ultra death should not be consumed without dilution. Never mind, it does say that. <laughs> there you go. Uh, it says, one taste and you will know that this Jersey boy was here. If you have an insatiable need for heat or love to live with excess, here I come. This sauce is the real deal. Wait, is he holding a giant bottle of it? Uh, it is a giant bottle of Blair's ultra death sauce. Okay. Uh, on a side note, I had a comment recently. This is like one of the coolest things ever. But it came with this little bullet. And inside, if you unscrew it inside the bullet, look, look, look. There's a tasting spoon. That's adorable. That is the most adorable, cool thing I've ever seen in my life. And I had no idea. Okay, so let's get into this sauce. I had some uh, hot sauce on my eggs this morning, so I, pre I prepared. I did too, actually. What kind of, what kind of hot sauce do you use? Uh, I went with uh, Secret Aardvark's traditional, just red hot sauce. Frank's. <laughs> Frank's. <laughs> well, two different levels. A little bit, a little bit different. Yeah. Uh, Secret Aardvark's really good though. But I, I don't think I ever tried it. Okay. All right. See the dark part up there, like that, like oh, dark that little, spot. Oh, that chunk. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think that's like the ex that's probably it looks like extract. So as people always tell me, I'm gonna make sure I shake this bottle up really good. True. Okay, the ingredients on here. Where are you, ingredients? Okay, uh, ingredients. Water, habanero chilies, cayenne chilies, pepper extract, great. I love how the extract is the fourth ingredient. Uh, lemon juice, tomato paste, salt, cane vinegar uh, as an acidifier, uh, modified cornstarch as a thickener, xanthan gum as a stabilizer, exorbic acid as an antioxidant, and spices. Okay. Okay, so that's not, that's not as bad as I expected. Oh, it's bad. I mean, it's gonna be bad. Uh, it's gonna be terrible. Dude. Freaking extract is the, outside of water, it's the third ingredient down here. And the first two are habanero and, and cayenne. And both of those are, not, I mean, habanero's legit. That's got yeah, some heat. That's true. So, I mean, it's gonna be hot. The first time I ever tried like a ghost pepper, like sliver, ruined my life. But well, they're, they're hot, man. Yeah. This is gonna be fun. Yeah, the last, every, anytime like I think of hot sauce now, I, after that plutonium video, I do not look at hot sauce anymore. Like, yeah, I'm good. That stuff was gnarly. That was the worst, best experience of my life. <laughs> People give us crap for the amount that we did, because we only did a toothpick, but that stuff is no joke, no, if that thing is me not messing around. I've had some hot things in my life, and that stuff was gnarly. It wrecked me. I mean, that's why, like, you know, I haven't been able to eat, like, hot sauce since then. It's, that, yeah, it was, it was a game changer. Okay, Bracken. I don't want Since you're it. the guest, dictate how much we're doing. Oh no, okay. It's always been like that, man. Mm. What's it smell like? Fun. Dude, it smells it smells vinegary. It smells like a hot sauce. That's that's good. We're off to a good start. My hands are shaking because I'm nervous. Good. Yeah. I'm nervous too, man. I'm I'm just scared of spicy food in general now. Alright, there you go. You're such a Oh my god, pour it. Okay, okay, okay. That's not a that's not a lot. That's not a small amount either. That is uh, enough to experience, I think. So I'm gonna try to match you here. Ooh, you had a chunk of something in there. Yeah, I got a chunk of something going on. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it just flop down. I was like, Ooh. Something something chunky just happened. Alright, Bracken. You ready? 
ponies. Let's do it. Cheers. Definitely got a chunk of something. Wow, that's hot. There's definitely an extract on the full for on the full forefront. There. <clears throat> ooh, ooh, it's ramping nicely. Uh, I definitely, I definitely felt a seed or a chunk of something. You got the hiccups. I don't get, I don't get hiccups. <laughs> this is amazing. Um, oh God. I'm okay. I'm okay, Kurt. What's happening? I'm shutting down. <laughs> Are you okay? Nope. Good. <laughs> I've always wanted to experience hiccups from oh, something hot. I don't want it. I'm okay. Um, so it had it was very vinegar in the in the forefront. A lot of the spices going on. Uh, I tasted the peppers. I tasted the extract, but it wasn't like a super 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 unpleasant version of that. Uh, I can feel it going directly down here, which is kind of scaring me right now. Um, but you know, I'm okay. This would be really good in a bowl of chili because I feel like it has. Um, Specifically in a bowl of chili. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's got like dark flavors to it. Um, I think that it's going to. Ah, it's hard. It's got like there's like a like a weird like roastiness to it that I think would add the heat to a bowl of chili. Like I think that it needs. Are you okay? The ability, the, the fact that you can talk. <laughs> I feel pretty good at the moment. Like that was definitely hot, but it's, it's but but pretty pretty manageable at the at the amount that we did. How are you feeling? I think I messed up. I flipped the spoon, put it on my tongue. I did too. And I swallowed it. Yeah, that's what well, you did. You didn't like swish it around your mouth or anything like that. You had to go like straight to the back. I'm sweating. Yeah, you are sweating. Hi. So, did you taste flavors anywhere? Do you the think hot. it was hot? Did you get the vinegar like I did? Did you get the spices or are you just getting the heat? Lava. Lava? Sweat. Really? If you had to put this in something, on something, what would you put it on? The ground. The, the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing against Blair's, but the ground does not. No. This is way better executed than I thought it was going to. Like, I honestly thought that I, th I was going to hate this sauce. But I think it's really, I think it's good in a very specific kind of way. Like, I, it, it says that you should dilute it, and I agree it should be diluted in, in food. And I'm going with chili. And I, I don't really know how I can explain myself there. Where it's just, just it just feels like like chili needs it to bring this heat, bring the heat in. Mm -hmm. So that's the best way I can explain it. It just feels right, which is the dumbest thing in the world, but, it, but that's that's the truth. <sighs> Trying to get in that happy zone. Is it still? Water. You can oh. you can go to water whenever nope. you want, man. Nope. Is it still like getting you really good? I don't like talking. You don't. Like talking. <laughs> this is rough. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Woo. Okay. I'm not, I mean, it was. It's definitely very hot. It's definitely really hot. But <laughs> is that better? Does it help out a lot? Um, I can. Mm. I can feel it in like the pit of my stomach. It's like I've learned that. I've. I've learned that when you're eating sauces or foods that have an extract in it, it's like drawing a direct line. You can feel the exact trail and mm -hmm. path. That it follows in your system, and it's currently sitting right here. It's like a literally right there. It's like a magma slug. It really is like a magma slug. Like you can like really feel the trace. You good, man? Mm-hmm. I would love for a winter snowstorm right now. So with the the plutonium number nine, where would you rank this against that? Mm. Like say plutonium is here, you know, and then this is this. Where's this go? Here? Really? Like you think you put Tony way up there and this is here? Uh, let's go here. Okay, that's a little bit more accurate, I would say. Uh, the plutonium was freaking gnarly, though. But this is legit. Would you eat this again? For a dare, yeah, maybe. For a dare? Maybe. Man, this is this would be a good sauce like to test people. Like if you have someone that's like I like hot, I like spicy food and I want and, like to introduce them to something like truly spicy. I think this is a pretty good like intro before you're like Nine million Scoville extract, you know, like mm -hmm. before you go extract, this is a good way to go. Regardless, Brecken, you are the man. Thank you for letting me put you <laughs> no, through that this. That's fun. You I, had a good reaction to it. I've never actually experienced like hiccups from something hot until now, and <clears throat> it's always funny to watch that. I, I, I want nothing but just cold something in my mouth. I've only got hiccups one time, so like seeing you like just immediately go to the hiccups is pretty amazing. 
That was awesome. Uh, thank you guys for checking out the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys all in the next Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going <laughs> to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.